after 14 matches and travelling thousands and thousands of kilometres, this year's Tui's Challenge Championship culminates in the border city of Albury, nestled on the banks of the Murray River. The battleground is the Lavington Oval, and the matchup sees the Brisbane Broncos up against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Both of these teams have won three games to move through to this year's final, and realistically, the surprise packet have been the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And Ray Warren, mixed news from them earlier this week from the judiciary. Well, it was a tragedy, really, with the suspension of Daryl Trindle, but uh, according to the judiciary, he deserved to go. Jeremy Doniger, on the other hand, was allowed off. But uh, Trindle, of course, was the leading try scorer overall in this year's Two East Challenge. So that in itself indicates he's going to be missed. This is the new look side. And, of course, Trindle worked off the bench in those matches. And so it doesn't look all that different. But uh, a young fellow called Jason Ryan comes onto the bench. Other than that, the run-on side is unchanged. Brisbane, they've had to uh, undergo some changes. Julian O'Neill is back. Paul Hoff is out injured and uh, Alan Can is out. Mark Hone comes into the side in the second row. Brisbane quoted at around about six to one on. And that's a very short quote, but they do look good things, don't they? The Rabbits haven't won a competition from memory 13 years ago. They won a tooth cup in 1981 over Cronulla. 10 points to eight, I think it was, at Leichhardt Oval. Well, Paul Vorton, as Ray points out, really Brisbane expected to win tonight. How difficult is that for them to prepare themselves when they're such hot favourites? Well, Peter, all through this two is challenge, they've tended to get to a lead and then slacken off their intensity. This could be a worrying aspect for coach Wayne Bennett. They're a great football side. I expect them to win tonight just purely on the class thing. But uh, South Sydney, they might surprise a lot of good young kids there. I know one thing, we're in for a very bright open attacking game. Well, the script couldn't have been written any better for our two men on the sideline tonight, Gary Belcher and Steve Roach, both on the staff of these two teams. And once again, they've got the latest news from the respective camps. A great effort from the young South Sydney side to make the final of the Tui's Challenge Cup. And it has been 13 years since they have made it. I know that Craig Field and Darrell Trindle have been receiving all the headlines for their performances, and rightly so. But it'll have to be the forwards, led by their captain, Dean Schifoletti, to stop the Itchwich Triangle of Alan Langer and the Walders brothers from making breaks in the middle of the ruck. There's a dirty word around the Broncos dressing room, and that's complacency. But with the likes of Andrew G, Gavin Allen, Mark Hone, Julian O'Neill and Wendell Saylor all vying for positions in next week's Premiership opener, complacency shouldn't be a factor. And with Terry Madison and Kerry Walters directing play around the rucks, the floodgates could open late in the game for the likes of Renoff, Khan and Hancock. No losers tonight financially. $330,000 up for grabs prize money-wise. $200,000 goes to the winner. $130,000 for running second. But more importantly, we'll grab, be grabbing the title. To see if South Sydney can continue their run of upsets, we'll now take a break and be back with Ray Warren for the kickoff of this year's Two East Challenge final. The Brisbane Broncos up against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. From Lavington Sports Ground in Albury, South Sydney kicks off to start the Tui's pre-season challenge final. $330,000 at the end of the night. Brisbane, a raging hot favourite. And South Sydney from right to left in this first two quarters. I note that Gavin Allen has gone on the original run-on side for Brisbane. And Andrew G is working off the bench in the early part. Mark Hone... He has his first touch of the football in 1994 in the top grade. And now Glenn Lazarus works it out. Brisbane slowly but surely getting it down towards halfway on the fourth play. In fact, this is the last tackle coming up now. So they've, they've done very well. Langer drops it onto the boot. And the bounce is favourable for Duncan McRae. He had a fine game last weekend. He'll be happy with the same result tonight. An awesome task for South Sydney. Nobody prepared to concede that they've got a chance, but it's only a two-man a two -man battle out there. And uh, greater shocks have happened. Right, they have a chance if defensively they're very good. We know that they can use the football, throw the football around, but against the Brisbane team, to be successful, you must tackle to the best of your ability. I think their reaction time must be important. When they make a mistake or kick the football, 90% of the occasions, Brisbane will fan the ball wide. So they must be aware of that. Very big crowd in at Lavington Sports Ground in the heart of Australian Rules Territory. As Craig Field directs the ball down towards the 20-metre line, one of the danger men, and they're right across the park for Brisbane. Willie Khan gets his first touch of the ball and took a quick look at the touch judge. 
It goes quickly to the left and Renoff tries to get around his man over there, but Shane Wilson has parceled him up over there. Good defence and put Renoff over the sideline. Oh, that's great defence there by the Rabbits. Rabbitohs because uh, Renoff looking for space and Wilson came and forced him out over the touchline. That's uh, a big mistake there made by Brisbane. Jason Bell working an angle with his inside centre, Shane Wilson. And now they're just inside the 40-metre line, the Rabbits, as it goes through Craig Field, Tyron Smith. Tall, strapping lad. Very fast and works very hard. This is Goldspink. His dad, who played for Australia, in the crowd watching tonight. Doniger. Takes it within about 25 metres of the Brisbane line. Schifoletti gets out, unloads for field, on to Bell, inside for Wilson. Wilson gets it away, Penner goes for the line and puts it down just short. Now Brisbane will come up with it, but that's not an advantage to them. And so it'll be a scrum and it'll be fed by Brisbane out on the 10 metre line. Well, beautiful work there from Dean Schifoletti, getting out, drawing a man and giving the pass to Craig Fields. We then linked up with his back line and unfortunately at the end there the ball came loose they still had another couple of tackles to go so it wasn't good work there from david penner talking of um shocks in in sport and in rugby league more particularly the two is challenge last year in round one at lang park south defeated brisbane 18 points to 10. and i guess uh, wayne bennett would have reminded his team of that as michael hancock makes a good run out from dummy half he's got it about 15 meters from the halfway mark there's been in their second appearance in a final for the two east people 1992 they went down to illawarra they're looking to make it their first two east pre-season victory as julian o'neill gets up an ordinary kick across the ground so much so that david penner is tackled on the first about five meters into brisbane's area so a few things have happened in this match already that indicate Souths are not overawed by the situation. Well, both Julian O'Neill and Mark Cohn are having their first hitouts for the Brisbane side this year, so they'll be a little bit rusty as Souths continue to throw the football around, and that's a big gold spin. Surging run by him. The 30 metres out, Schifoletti is working hard. Great field comes around the back of the ruck. Jamie Kelso is on in jumper number 17 for the Rabbits. A chance for them as it's grubbed ahead. Touched in flight. It came off the knee of Peter Ryan, so it'll be a South Sydney feed. Very good chance for them. Let's go down to the sideline, Steve Roach. Yeah, I was in the shed just early, just before the match. A very nervous South Sydney. Expect big games from Brett Goldspink and Terry Hermanson. They were revved up. And as Peter Sterling said, their prime target tonight is their defence. Shane Wilson bumps off a would-be tackle out wide from Chris Johns. That's not easy to do. They work to the blind side, and Jason Bell is put away without a great deal of ground uh, gain. Fairly ordinary play the ball, and Tyron Smith comes back. Now they're only six metres out from the line. Souths are getting play the balls in very quickly. Craig Field does some dancing. The ball goes to Smith, goes to ground. Field gets it away to Bell. Bell gets it inside. Doniger, Doniger goes over. Was there a knock on in the, the actual try? But Doniger has gone in. The try has been awarded. I think we'll see the ball actually came off Craig Field's knee. So that is not a knock on. They've been down there on three occasions. And finally, they put the ball over the line. Great work from Schifoletti once again. The inside pass to Field. Now, he's involved on a couple of occasions there. There it comes off his leg. Quick hands to Jason Bell and good support on the inside there from Doniger. Steps inside Glenn Lazarus and carries Hancock over. Yeah, well, it's been all the rabbits in the first five minutes of the match. Field's done extra well here to get involved for the second time. And Doniger, he sees the opportunity coming up on the inside. That's well done by the big fellow. Had a scare last week and he was cited by the rugby league for a tackle. He's been rewarded with a try here in the opening minutes. And it's all the bunnies. Yeah, the legs went the way of Rabideaux there, didn't it? They had a kick over this side, Craig Field, that caught Peter Ryan's shin. That meant that they got the scrum feed. 
and what looked like it could have been a knock on there came off Craig Fields knee that's obviously not a knock on and play continued on a difficult conversion if we're talking about South being overawed by the occasion they haven't played that way and that will settle them down 100% putting the first points on the board Craig Field with a a difficult shot for goal just outside the 30 meter line couple of meters in from touch in front of a very big crowd on the the hill area it's wide the attempted conversion but South get first points a try to Jeremy Doniger Trying this is how it came the play the ball from Jerry Smith the had a couple of question marks on it didn't and Craig Field, the field got involved twice but Schifoletti getting out from dummy half was the man that created the problem early on plenty of good reasons for Dean Schifoletti to have a good game tonight he is a Queenslander and uh, I guess a maroon jumper would be uh, his main ambition in rugby league at the moment a very hard one to come by well he's, he's worthy of a Queensland jumper but unfortunately for him he's got uh, both Kerrod and Steve Wallace ahead of him at the moment this is young Mestrov and now Melor trying to fend off Steve Renoff a couple of other Broncos came in to contain the big fellow the big ringer he's only a strapping youth but he stands like a mountain amongst men Field holding it back. Smith, the lock forward, has handled uh, a lot in the match already. I don't think South Sydney can win this match by being introverted, and they're not being introverted to this point in time. They're prepared to play their normal game, which is razzle dazzle football, and again they get it to come off the legs of a Brisbane Bronco. And I think Peter Ryan again is the Bronco off whom it came. Craig Field having something to say there to a touch judge, was it? So everything is running for South Sydney. The boys from Redfern on happy terms with themselves at the moment. They lead 4-0. And we're approaching the 10th minute of the first quarter. Doniger, the try scorer, picked up and driven by Alan Langer. Goldspring takes it up and home brings him down. On the sidelines, Gary Belcher. Ray, conditions down here, almost perfect. Nice and cool night, very little breeze swirling around out there. The ground here is actually the home of Lavington Aussie Rules Club. There's no doubt Rugby League is very popular in Albury. And in fact, Alan Langer must be the most popular in town. Banners all over the place. He's been in all of the local newspapers. Craig Field, I'm sure, has got a little bit to say about that. Though. And I don't know if you did notice, Duncan McRae left the field a couple of minutes ago. He's been having trouble with his sternum, but he's back now. Langer dropping back in support of the fullback, but uh, David Penner makes a good tackle. Willie Kahn is brought down just outside the 20-metre line. It's all happening out there, to use the phrase, uh, the phrase of Bill Laurie. But here's Renoff now, starting to put the records in order. Striding out and getting away from the last line. Chris Johns is with it. 20 metres out from the line. They had a chance to reform their South Sydney. The Brisbane side didn't throw the ball wide until the second ruck. They didn't handle it particularly well. There was a, a missed tackle out there, a pretty easy one. And Kevin Wilders puts it down. Makes the mistake. Corcoran comes away. The scorer of two tries against Balmain. Hermanson. Lazarus wasn't budging. Kelso, incidentally, was the man that came on for Duncan McRae, and they've undergone a bit of a reshuffle, the Rabbits. 13 years, long time between drinks, isn't it? But that's the last uh, first-grade premiership, I should have said, that's the last first-grade uh, tournament or competition won by the Rabbits, the Tooth Cup back in that year, 13 years ago. 18 is Julian O'Neill. That's a great kick. And now South Sydney want to let Brisbane play the ball quickly here. Not many Brisbane players back. Kevin Walters, the only man. Willie Kahn makes a great run there. Centre field. That's taken some pressure off. Quick play the ball. And Kerrod Walters gives it for Alan Langer to turn it. Reynolds away again. Reynolds over the halfway. Here comes.
comes the fullback McRae. Reynolds able to stand. Kerrin Walters promotes. Fed across by Hancock. Picked up by Langer. Langer to the centre of the ground. Kicks ahead now. Madison chases. So does Schifoletti. And the latter wins the race. Well, it's almost a one man band at the moment. Steve Renoff having an absolute stormer. There's, there's gaps all over the place out wide for him. This one was created by Alan Langer as he drifted across. But what a brilliant athlete he is when he gets running. Here's the break. You look at Langer drift over. Tony he's... Mestrov didn't come across, Paul. He was the lazy man there. I thought that Renoff should have just put the foot down, but he's trying to look for some support. There's plenty there. But at the end of this, Langer decides to put the kick through. They've reacted well. What about Skifalitti? He's in the line there. He turns and chases, gets in the way of Madison and cleans up. Great ground covering from a, a hooker. 3-1 the scrums already to South. Brisbane win this scrum, though. Deep inside South Territory. Johns is back slammed by Smith over the top. Madison. Short ball up and away for Peter Ryan. The youngster is put down three or four metres out from the South Sydney line. South leading 4-0. Gavin Allen. That was raked out. It might be a penalty. It is to Brisbane. They'll take the kick, I would imagine. Well, quick tap, I think, will be taken. Kerry Wallers, here he goes. They want to try the Brisbane Broncos. Kevin Walters now. Three or four metres out from the line. Game Brisbane. Refusing to take the kick. Langer works, throws the dummy. Here's a try. Cohn goes in, and that's four points all. That's why they refuse to take the kicks. They're so confident, this football side. They're not worried about two points. They wanted four or six, and they came within three tackles as the South defence was all over the place. There's a lovely ball here. That one's a nice one, but this ball here by Madison. He saw that Corcoran was coming in to cover Johns, and Khan ran into fresh air. That's a great try. Well, they didn't really have that many troops out there, Brisbane. You see that there's no centre, but the pass from Madison really caught the winger Corcoran out. He was coming up to try and put some pressure on the second man. So when I say there weren't many troops for Brisbane, obviously South Sydney were deficient in defence as well and it's cost them a try. I wonder, is that an omen try for Willie Kahn? It's his third for the series, but you might remember that slaughter that Brisbane handed out to South last year at ANZ in round 14. Willie Kahn that night scored a hat-trick of tries. I wonder, is that the start of another flood of tries for Willie Kahn tonight? Big crowd now waiting for Terry Madison. 20 metres out, and he pushes it across the face of the uprights. So the score is locked together. Four points all. This was the try. And Langer got a good decoy run from Hone. Hone actually took two men out of the front line. And Khan, as Peter said, ran into open space. Four all after 14 then. Albury, of course, as Peter pointed out, one of the border cities, 45,000. And uh, it's on the New South Wales side of the Murray. Wodonga on the Victorian side. And um, it might be the heart of rules territory, but uh, they had 12,000 here last year. And I think they've easily eclipsed that tonight. As Wilson starts, Peter Ryan, a little chancy there with his handling but he's brought it back uh, a good 10 meters well, it's a poor restart there from south sydney the first tackle 30 meters out from the brisbane line really got to drive the ball deep into the corners and force the opposition to kick from well in their own territory now brisbane on the third tackle and Kerry wallace picks up a couple of meters they're going to kick close to the halfway line walters in the center of the ground gavin allen now yeah, considering that it was only a short kickoff, I would have thought a couple of South Sydney players would have contested that kickoff, but uh, there was hardly any pressure on Peter Ryan at all. Play by Madison on the last, and they're 10 metres into South's area. Langer puts the midfield bomb up. They go high. Corcoran's put it down. A scrum will form, and Brisbane will feed it. 20 metres, just a fraction over that away from the South Sydney line. That's a mistake that South Sydney can't afford. You saw Willie Carney put a, a deal of pressure on Jamie Corcoran, who flew high. He thought he was playing for the Albury 
Collingwood type side. But, uh, the who? Well, who are they? What's the name of their footy side? Yeah. Tigers. Tigers. Actually, I, I thought McRae actually put some pressure on him as well. There was some good communication between the two Southmen. He had a good shot at it, Corcoran. And now Brisbane centre field, five tackles left. And he, 15 metres out now. Mark Hone taken head on by Paul Quinn. But Paul will learn by that. You've got to really tie them up. Lazarus gets close to the line. Kieran Wild is a dummy. Ryan offers a decoy left. It goes out wide. Julian O'Neill goes for the line. Was it a double movement? Yes, it was. Double movement on Julian O'Neill. Let's have a look at this. I didn't think his elbow had hit the ground. But I won't put myself in before I see the replay, and that's the advantage of sitting up here with this facility available. Here's O'Neill getting through. That's a try. I, mean, I didn't think he's, it, the ball, that, that, the arm carrying the ball, I don't think came in contact with the ground. Well, I think it's a try. His he, sort of hand brushes the ground there, but his well, elbow... Well, if, it, if it did, it's a double movement. Is that right? Well, if his hand brushed the ground, as you said, they're your words, not mine. Even it's not a try. Even if he's brushed it. Absolutely. Okay. Well, he must have had good view of it, McCallum. I thought he might have consulted his in-goal touch judge, but uh, he's made the decision. So South Sydney are let off. This is it again. The question is, does his hand brush the ground? There. I contend that it did, and I think McCallum's right. Four points all is I'm, the score. No, I'm with you, right? Yeah, I'm right. Doniger now. 18 gone. We're getting close to the first break. Four weeks ago, we were playing in oppressive heatwave conditions. Tonight at Albury, Gary Belcher said it. Ideal condition. Mellor! Good run by Mellor! 15 out from the line. Can they go on with it from here? South Sydney using Craig Field. Looking for runners. Goes himself. Gets it for Smith. Smith! He's over the line. It's a try. Tyron Smith gets the third try of the game. And fluctuating fortunes. We've come the length of the field. And Craig Field has done the great work, the inside work, to set his men up outside. We've, had, we've got Chris Johns being called out here now for, for some infringement, whether he said something. Alan Langer, as captain, has come out. He can afford a smile. But the try's been awarded. Craig Field did a great job. Tyron Smith had plenty to do once he got the football in his hand. And he did have support on the outside. Nice little interplay here. Paul Mellor set it up the previous play. Beat two and three defenders before being taken to ground. Glenn Lazarus came up with that tackle. Now let's have a look at Field. Goes to the defence, throws the dummy, gets outside. Tyron Smith, we can't pick it up from that angle, but he's got three South Sydney players in support on the outside. Are they are they putting it to the referee that this too was a double movement? I think that's what Chris Johns was intimating, and there it is there. That's what they're saying. Well, that was a try, no doubt. Well, they might be saying he might have grounded the ball short, but Tyron Smith, he's been one of the finds of this uh, young Rabideau side. He's had a great series, the two his challenges, the, the quarter-time siren sounds. Deserves the try. Well, maybe so did Julian O'Neill deserve a try. The fact is that Chris Johns and Alan Langer have said to McCallum, what's fair for one has to be for the other side as well. Corcoran fails with the conversion attempt, and at quarter time, the Rabbits lead. 20 minutes gone, the Rabbitohs eight, the Broncos are four. We're back in just a moment. Welcome back to Albury at Lavington Sports Oval. And South Sydney leading Brisbane 8-4. There was a controversial moment going into the break. It was there and then that that Chris Johns and Alan Langer complained about. But looking at the replay, and we have several times in the break, it looked like Smith was tackled with the ball touching the line in the first instance. And that's a try. But then he tried to improve the position of the football. And that gave the indication, I'm sure, to the Broncos that there was a double movement involved. There was but he was already on the try line when he improved the position of the football. And you can do that, there's no drama at all. So, the complaint was a valid one, but the evidence suggests that South Sydney did score a legitimate try at the end of the first quarter. This is the start of the second, and Lazarus it is, who's about five or six metres into South Sydney's area. Lang, short ball away for Andrew G. G has come on, and Mark, Mark Hone has gone back to the bench. Plenty of work to be done. 
particularly by the Broncos. South Sydney are playing on high confidence at the moment. And it's paying off for them. They've been broken a couple of times. Renoff has been away. But as long as South Sydney don't go back inside themselves, in other words, keep doing what they like doing, and that is razzle-dazzle stuff. But that's the thing, Ray. You know that Brisbane are going to, to break it. That's going to happen. There's too much talent there for it not to happen, which means that you, you hope your scrambling defence is going to be up to that and to, and to keep them out at the death. But the thing that I think South would be worried about is the fact that Brisbane have got out of their own danger area much too easily. They've got to the halfway line, second and third tackle. They've got to be made to work harder. Julian O'Neill with a straight run to just beyond the 40 metre line. And now Kevin Walters ducks and dodges his way to the halfway line. Uh, Steve, what was said in the South Sydney huddle at quarter time? Yeah, South Sydney know they're right in this game, uh, especially on the scoring. They're just saying, look, every time Dean Schifoletti scoots out from dummy half, they look good. It takes the pressure off the, off the running forwards. He said, uh, we've got to keep getting three in a tackle and slow Pearl off to slow down the Brisbane players. And also be a bit more confident out wide in the backs. If, you, if you've got Renouf in your sights, you've got to make the tackle. Ray, it was uh, pretty serious stuff in the Broncos huddle, as you can imagine. Wayne Bennett said they've made enough breaks to be in the lead, but they're not. They've got to live with that. He wants better support for Steve Renoff out wide, and they're going to start numbering off better out wide in defence. Madison now playing it, and Langer runs it on the very wide blind side. He puts the grubbing kick in. And Duncan McRae is prepared to let it go. Hancock was storming down on him. McCallum wired for sound, as they have been in the preseason, and the scrums have been 20 metres in from touch. The good types of kicks, those, because what it does is put pressure on the wingman to either take the ball, on that occasion it was Duncan McRae. If you are forced to take the ball, then you're very close to the sideline and can be bundled over. South's quite happy to see the football go over there and get the scrum feed. This is Paul Mellor. I don't know what his defence is like, Paul Mellor, but looking at the size of him, he reminds me a little bit of a bloke called Ron Coote from years gone by. He's about the same height, about the same size. Might even be a bit a bit bulkier than I wonder could he make up into a lot forward Goldspin, the son of Kevin as I said earlier played with Canterbury in 63 through until he went to East at 1970 and Kevin is here tonight as South come back with the football that is Dean Schifoletti I believe who's tackled now Mestrov gets up a full head of steam nearly to the 40 metre line Formerly from Manly, Mestrov. Schifoletti is getting out from dummy half dangerously. Jason Bell makes the break. Backed up and supported by his teammates. And Wilson is away. Wilson! He scores for the Rabbits. Was there a little touch of a forward pass there? Well, I hate to put negatives on it, but you've got to be fair, Deacon. Oh, wonderful try to the Rabbit A's, but the last pass did look a touch dicey. But magical play by the Rabbitohs. They're throwing this ball around. Look, they're 60 metres out from the Broncos line and they score. Schifoletti once again has drawn a couple. And Jason Bell, that big right foot step, got inside Kevin Wallace, the Australian 5'8". That pass there. But McCallum was in good position and Shane Wilson strides away. It's not often you see a man with the defensive capabilities of Michael Hancock brushed off the way that he was on that last tackle there. Great work there from, from Jason Bell. And a nice pass here, one-handed pass back inside. I think the pass was OK. We weren't on a great angle. The referee was. And Shane Wilson, he's really come on in the last couple of weeks, especially since moving into the centre position. He just swatted Michael Hancock away with consummate ease. In actual fact, Jason Bell beat Alan Langer. It was not Kevin Walters. And the last tackle by uh, Hancock, he didn't really commit himself to it. Jamie Corcoran from right in front. So what was four becomes six. And South Sydney, look at it. 25 minutes gone. 14-4 they lead. Let's have a look at the pass that we've put the question mark on. It's the one from that man across, and it's still on that replay. To me, looks a touch forward. I'm not, I'm not so sure. It looked to me as though maybe the pass went backwards, but Shane Wilson was slightly in front of um, the man who gave it to him, and he had to reach back to grab it. Yeah, well, the important thing is it is on the scoreboard, and they did take heed of the half time of the quarter time instructions that to be a little bit more confident in their backline shots 
And that's exactly what they did. Jason Bell made a great break. Noticeable that the Brisbane defence didn't come up in the one line there. Langer came up a little bit in front of Steve Renoff. And the inside men came up with missed tackles. South's working away from their own try line. That's the terrace, the terrace end of the ground. And fair and they're up there in their thousands. They might be Australian rules people, but they're obviously here to see a great game of rugby league. And are they watching one of the game's big upsets unfolding? Well, there's the boys there. Head coach Bob McCarthy. He must be ecstatic with the way they're going. He's done a great job since coming back to South Sydney. He's brought tradition back to the club. And, of course, Kenny Shine, the assistant, also doing a wonderful job there with the Rabbitohs. Turnover of possession for Brisbane. It came in contact with Kerrod Walters, and South thought that it should be play on, but he didn't play at the ball, and McCallum didn't nullify the tackle. Look at Hancock flying onto the ball. 28 metres out from the line. Come. Langer. Walters. Second man play. O'Neill uses Renault. Renoff has put away. He 35 that, out from the line. Read that well, Jason Bell. He, he knew that the pass was coming back inside. He waited for Renoff. Round the legs. This is Madison. Goldspink was the first man in. Hermanson the second. Kerrod Walters. Alan Langer. Again cuts out a play around the back. And then Ryan and Langer and Khan. Khan steps inside to Tyron Smith. And he's put down 18 metres out from the line. Becoming one of those players, Willie Kahn. When he handles the ball, the crowd goes up. On the last, it's with Langer. He uses the ball in the hands. And South read it well. Oh, Dean Skifalitti. That's putting your body on the line. He's hurt himself, but he came up with a big play there. Brisbane opting to run the football on the last tackle. The pass from Alan Langer went to Kevin Walters, who was under all sorts of pressure because of that Ooh. effort by Skifalitti. They've clashed heads. Almost his cheekbone came into contact there, and he's the worst for wear is Skifalitti. Skifalitti immediately clutched at that cheekbone. Yeah, well, look, he still held on to the bloke when he went down too, isn't it? Like, that's, that's just... It's great play. It's very committed play, and that's why South Sydney have done so well in this pre-season competition and why he's been the leading light. Good hit by Skifalitti, who's uh, been signed by the North... Queensland Cowboys for next season, but there is talk that the South Sydney club would like to hang on to him, and uh, I believe they're going to make him an offer to stay on with their club. To his challenge final then, in the second quarter, and we've got uh, Dean Schifoletti coming from the field of play. South cannot afford to lose their captain. He's a good player normally, but tonight he's been great. Paul Quinn has gone on for him. He's just crouched over there off the field of play. Duncan McCray. Craig Field would take over the south side now. He'd be calling the shots anyway from the halfback position. He'd be the playmaker. O'Neill comes back, a long run. About seven metres on his own side of the halfway. 28 gone and 14-4, South Sydney leading. And South's inside the 10. First penalty for that offence in the game. Doniger, the South Sydney second rower, scored a try earlier. His tackle count is up to 12. Three more than his nearest rival. The Broncos just inside the South Sydney 20-metre line. Kerrod Walters cuts it out across the face. Galia gets it away. Madison will score. Terry Madison under the post. Did I call him Galia? <laughs> he's, a, he's fairly big. I wouldn't do that again, Ray, but he's a very good player. He's been a replacement player for the Broncos in this two. He's challenged and he's done some good things whenever he's came on. Come on. A nice cutout pass that there's nothing on as far as is concerned here but that's a good inside ball and madison hit it at pace that was the secret to the try hit it at pace and caught the south sydney players unawares but the broncos fight back yeah, again the inside men from south sydney weren't good and that was, it was tony mestrov the number 10 you see him at the, out the back there 
just didn't drift across and that's what you've got to do against Brisbane when when it doesn't look like there's danger that's when you've really got to expect it and he didn't deem it important enough to just go those extra couple of meters and Madison straight up the middle there took advantage you might have wondered viewers what I'm talking about when I said that I call him Galia Galia wants it called in that fashion as Madison gets the conversion but um, because of the family in Sydney being as famous as they have been in sport it's hard to get out of the habit of calling them Galia and then in the heat of the moment he looms up here in the 16 and Fonda Matassa will be happy we got it right but Madison's the man that scored the try what a value what a value he is to Brisbane Terry Madison formerly played with Eastern Suburbs now we're going to see a high scoring game here what's the story on Dean Schifoletti block yeah Dean Schifoletti a little bit of concussion uh, he'll be back for sure he's having a blinder Ray mass changes for the Broncos Sailor Alan Hone and Plath all on now for Hancock Ryan Lazarus and Madison thank you Gary Steve uh, Duncan McRae no problems him no, he's, he's back to normal. He's, he's had a bit of a sternum problem for a couple of weeks, as I said, but uh, he's all right at the moment. This is Gavin Allen, lumbering his way about 30 metres out from his own line. 14 points to 10, the Rabbits over the Broncos. And, of course, at this time slot every Friday night through the season, you'll have your Friday night football served up to you. Friday we go to the Sydney Football Stadium I think it's St George and Eastern Suburbs Duncan McRae talking of him brings it back runs for Paul Mellor's win McRae once more valuable yards close to the halfway Goldsby that's a problem for South Sydney with Skifalitti not there. It means that Craig Field goes into dummy half. And I don't think he can be as effective there as he is receiving the ball one, one pass off the ruck. And the sooner they can get Skifalitti back out there, attacking-wise, they're going to have many more options. Quinn using Mestrov, using Goldspink and McRae. And away now for Wilson. Infield pass for Mello. He'll score, will he? No! He's short of the line. A wonderful tackle by Julian. He'll last his defence. Now they come to the left. Off the boot of Jason Bell. It came back to Hone offside. Mark Hone is offside. What will the Rabbits do here? With Skivaletti off the park. They'll go for the goal, I'm sure. Soaking up time. A chance of a couple more points. I think they've done the right thing. Lovely pass by Shane Wilson back inside. Kira Wallace trailed on the inside there in cover. Just in case O'Neill sort of held him up, he had to come over the top. He's got Brisbane for being inside the 10 metres here. They never retreated back to the try line. Hone was offside anyway. What about the, the hands there to create that break? The, the big men throwing the short passes and eventually linking up with Shane Wilson out wide. That was just absolutely beautiful stuff there from the Look, South Sydney team. Draw and pass. Goal speak. They were passing like three quarters, weren't they, the front rowers? Interesting to read a story from uh, from Alice Springs. Well, just As have a look we at this, watch this again now, I'll come back to that. Well, that's just magnificent. What about Duncan McRae? That's a beautiful pass, but so too with the, the balls inside from Mestrov and Goldspink. That's just rugby league at its best. Jamie Corcoran now from uh, about 25 metres in from that far touch line. Strikes it, hit it beautifully. Straight between the uprights and south. Get to 16-10 after 33 minutes. I was going to tell the story of that bet or betting, heavy betting in uh, Alice Springs, the centre bet. The Rabbits backed in from 50s to 12s to make the five. And uh, the, the men at centre bet said that if they happen to make the fives, it'll just about mean they'll close the doors. Corcoran gets the goal and we go into the next chapter now. Deep inside the South Sydney Territory. Deep inside the second quarter. It's a nice lead. Six points 
in four-quarter football. Mestra. Out to his 20-meter line. Don't forget the test cricket tonight, the first test between the South Africans and Australia. We'll be going to that immediately after Nightline tonight. That kick is going to find touch, and it does. Good work by Duncan McRae. Scrum packing 35 metres out from the Broncos line. Kevin Walters. Mark Hone. A few metres short of the halfway mark. Kerrod Walters turns it back now for Langer and pushed on for Willie Kahn or is it Julian O'Neill? It is the latter. O'Neill makes a great run. 25 metres out from the south line. Langer again. Here they come to the other side of the ground. Kevin Walters, Kerrod Walters, angle after angle. Andrew G, Kevin Walters, 18 away from the line. Now they're starting to razzle-dazzle themselves. Kerrod Walters out from dummy half. John Plath on in 14. Kevin Walters at dummy half, swapped by Smith. This is the last tackle. John Plath knows that, or does he? He flicks it out the back. He knows all right. It's still play on. The Broncos with Gavin Allen. He gets it away out the back. Julian O'Neill. He gets it away. Scooped up by Willie Kahn. Kahn now sets himself to kick. Gets it in. High ball. Pressure for South. Taken by Kahn. Flicked away and South. They had it and lost it. Oh, unbelievable stuff. Desperation there from both teams. Brisbane knowing it was the last tackle. The one thing you can't do against Brisbane is send your, your defensive line up staggered. And when Julian O'Neill made the initial break, big tackle there from Gavin Allen, Craig Field rushed up. You can't do that against the Broncos. They'll hurt you every time. Paul Quinn. Field is working from dummy high. Gulf's been away for... Hermanson to give to Bell, then back to Field. Round the corner pass, well handled. Who was that? Paul Quinn it was. Tyron Smith now, in traffic. Pulled down, good work. As John's making sure that the man playing the ball was the last man up. Mestro. Good stuff this. The underdog leading by six points. The champions the Brisbane side. They are the Goliath. O'Neill took a heavy shoulder. Now Wendell Saylor. Close to half time. Just 25 metres out from their own line. Gavin Allen, is it? No, it's Galea. Now Lang. Kevin Walters, he's allowed to run a long way. Chris Johns gets in and away. Runs into South Sydney jumpers. Five metres into South area. Kerrod Walters looks at the blind side. Looks for Alan Langer. Misses him. Picks up Kevin Walters. He's banged down by the defence. Now it's with John Platt. Does the dancing right in the centre of the ground. Goldspeak over the top in eight. Away from Kerrod Walters. Langer runs. Puts it on the boot. Oh, Schifoletti's back on the ground and he cleans up. South now. Vital part of the game for both sides. Close to half time. 39th minute, Schifoletti back. Slightly uh, concussed earlier. Craigfield. Bell was going one way. Turned at the other through Mestrov to Goldspink. Goldspink driven back by the small men. Kerrod Walters in particular. Schifoletti asks Mestrov to take it to the halfway line. There comes the ball. And this will be play on for the Broncos. Kerrod Walters outside his 40 metre line. Only seconds remaining in the second quarter. Langer 
Langer chips over the top. McRae read it. McRae put down by Wendell Saylor. There's the siren now. So at half time, South the leading Brisbane by 16 points to 10, three tries to two. We'll take a break and be back with Peter Sterling and Paul Vorton in just a moment. Welcome back to Albury now for the start of the third quarter and the second half of the Tui's preseason challenge final. And Willie Kahn it is who starts for the Brisbane side. South Sydney leading by 16 points to 10. Tremendous first half by the Rabbitohs. Scored three tries. Brisbane two. And can South Sydney keep up this intensity? Darren Maroon is on. Jumper number 15 for South. Peter Ryan 11 and Kevin Walters in six. A jumper that he has made his own now. Hermanson is this big lad. Heavily taped left forearm. Maroon handling for the second time on this set of six. Last tackle south, so they haven't done too badly. Craig Field's kick quite definitely steered infield and away from Julian O'Neill, who all but made the mistake of taking it over the dead ball line. He's done well, as it turns out, to get out to his own try line. Khan now. What happened at halftime in the Brisbane shed, Gary? Ray, enthusiasm was the word that my, my, Wayne Bennett used mainly. He wants his players to show that they really want to be out there, and that's going to give them a chance to get on top of South. Their other problem has been completing sets of six. He thinks is that they've only completed two or three sets during the first half. It's moments like this you miss, uh, you miss football the most. A very excited South Sydney room. They've been told to keep attacking. Don't shut down the game yet. Just keep throwing the ball around. The defence in the third quarter is the main thing. And look, you've mixed it with the best. You're leading at half-time. Start believing in yourself. Is there any uh, sense of uh, urgency in the Brisbane, uh, Brisbane room, Gary? Well, Ray, they've been there and done that with the finals, uh, as far as finals concerned. I couldn't sense any panic among the players, if that's what you're alluding to. But they certainly know that they've got a game on their hands and they're going to have to pick up a cog or two to, to get back into it. Schifoletti and Craig Field working together. Craig Field smothered out by Kerrod Walters. And we're in Brisbane's territory inside the 40. Shane Wilson, who scored a try. Duncan McRae tries to do it himself. Will he get a bounce? Yes, he does. Gets it away. Picked up on the bounce by Wilson. And now with Mellor. This is the last tackle. He knows that. And Brisbane come up with it. Oh, some wonderful hands here by McRae. That was super stuff as G hits one up. It very nearly resulted in a South try. Look at this. He's got speed to burn. Gets through the gap. Look at the hands there. And then offloads. And some good interchange of passing also by Wilson. So South, as Steve Rose said, they're not going to shut the shut the game down almost, almost full Blakey wasn't it the way that uh, he put it over there changed direction and got the bounce I get the impression as it is for South Sydney for Brisbane if they're going to be ignited it might well be from Kerrod Wallace at dummy half as Renoff well taken by Wilson no finally gets him to ground with the help of Bell I do think Kerrod Walters is the key to this side to make that ground up in the middle of the run Langer now trying to Put that kick down the ground for Willie Kahn, but he found a, a South Sydney player, Jamie Corcoran, waiting for him. So that's not a bad play for South Sydney. They're on their second tackle, and here they are to the halfway, still on their second tackle. Craig Field gets between them, goes back looking for support, finds Paul Mellor. I don't think they'll catch him. Mellor, he scores the Rabbits' fourth try. Oh, my, oh, boy. <laughs> Sensational play by South Sydney and Craig Field. Well, <laughs> why wouldn't they be happy? The co-coaches there of the South Sydney side. Mellor finished it off well, but Brisbane are falling off too many tackles. Simple as that. Here's the first one here. Kevin Walters. Easy as you like goes uh, Hermanson. And then Craig Field. Look at the footwork here and the speed through the gap. No one wanted to tackle him. 
He holds the ball up beautifully, and Miller just had to run to the foot, to run to the line. Yeah, just have a look at the way that Craig Field stands up, Terry Madison. He, he actually gets him to, to stop still in defence, and that's when he had him beat. This is great work from Hermanson, straight over the 5'8 in Walters. Kept the ball up. Now, he had no support, Craig Field. They hadn't backed up. That's where he stood up, Terry Madison, put him back on his heels. Galea was pretty ordinary on the inside there. He didn't chase too well, but it was a speed man in Mellor who positioned himself beautifully to take the inside pass. And this is going to be another six points, and they're going to be 12 in front. A field goal would be 13. They're going to be tough to catch. Paul Mellor, a look of satisfaction on that young Rabideau's face. They are high-flying, I'm telling you. They basically came from all points of the globe looking for an opportunity, looking for somebody that believed in them. And here they are in the final, leading the champion side. The best in the world by 22 to 10 after 45. And this is how they put their fourth try on the board. Hermanson played a big part. It nearly fell down here because the support play wasn't good, but Craig Field realised that and decided that he had to to keep it going himself, which he did magnificently. And then Paul Mellor, who's been blockbusting again tonight, finished in style. Well, enthusiasm was the word that the Broncos were looking for. They've only got to look no further than Craig Field, the South Sydney halfback. He was the dummy half on that occasion. And the most dummy halves they throw the football, they stand there and have a rest. But he followed around and set up the try beautifully. Well, with Ricky Stewart, on the sidelines at the moment suggesting to you that you were picking the uh, the city first side the, the city origin side tomorrow who'd have the number seven shirt well we've only had a couple of games right they played probably more than everybody else but certainly craig field has started the season off in scintillating fashion jason taylor could win that I can't see how you could vote for anybody in front of this kid. Here he is again. It's danger time now, but for South Sydney, one of the great attractions of this Brisbane team is the way that they can kick back straight away after having points scored against them. Six more tackles, Pete. 40 metres away from the Brisbane line. Skifalet, Mestro, Mestro. In the centre of the ground, put away by Andrew G and Kerrod Walters, who's made a lot of tackles, 22 of them, in 47 minutes. So Kerrod's uh, certainly got his sleeves rolled up. Craig Field with a bullet-like pass for Jason Bell. Tyron Smith gets inside the 20-metre line. Already the scorer of one, he wants another. Bell, here's the drop goal. Duncan McCray, and it's OK. Up goes the arm of McCallum. The Rabbits lead by 13 now. And that's confidence for you. They just having pot shots at field goals now. Takes into a 13-point lead. Outstanding play here by the Rabbitohs. But it was probably an afterthought, really, by McCray. The ball was thrown to him, and he thought, why not? Brisbane restart, Gary, now. Now, how do you see it? Gremlin in the line for Gary Belcher, apparently. He might be shell-shocked down there as well, being part of the Brisbane camp, but that was, it was a good set of six for South Sydney because they had a little bit of luck where they got six again halfway through their tackle count. They were able to get down the other end. Big tackle there again, front on put that point on the board and psychologically that's got to hurt Brisbane. Maroon. Thirteen points the difference. Twenty-three to ten. As Craig Field sends it deep. Julian O'Neill a running catch out in the deep. He brings it back to the 40 meter line. Michael Hancock. Oh, Paul Quinn went in awkwardly and paid the penalty. They're on the halfway, the Broncos. Andrew G throws the wild one. Galea was there to scoop it up. Give it away for Lazarus. Look out, he's got Khan with him. He's running strongly, Lazarus. Look at the big man go. 15 out.
yard from the line. He ran away from Khan. Well, that's an exaggeration, but it looked okay in the Lazarus scrapbook. Andrew G going nowhere, 20 metres out. These are some of the attacking raids between now and the end that Souths have got to repel. Khan works with Madison. Madison, here's a call. Holders comes up, knocked down by the Rabbits. That's only going to cause trouble because the, the Broncos will get the head and the feed. Yeah, it might have saved the try, but he's done well, Jason Bell. In the previous tackle, he came up with a ball and all tackle on the left-hand side of the field. That stopped the Brisbane flow for a little while. He really thought about putting his hand in the way there before actually doing it, but he knew that the inside pass may well have been a four-pointer. At least this way they get a chance to reform in defence. Plath, Walters, Johns, Walters, Renoff, O'Neill in, and Engels looking for the gap. Eight metres out from the line. South now, it's battle stations, everybody on deck. Walters, Hancock. Five or six metres from the line. Was there a marker? Hancock goes himself. McCallum says it was legitimate. And Carrot Walters is now the half. Kevin goes himself. The Australian 5'8 scores. Scores his normal try. That was too easy, too easy on that occasion for Brisbane. But uh, Kerry Walters, the South Sydney defence was over enthusiastic on this occasion. Look at them race up here. And it was Jason Bell who raced up and left a, a gap for Kevin Wallace to stride through. Yeah, Paul Quinn on the inside in the 14, you see, doesn't go up as quickly, and that creates the gap. Quinn had just come up with a pretty good tackle front on from Michael Hancock. And as we mentioned earlier, when Craig Field did it for South Sydney, if the line goes up in a staggered fashion, Brisbane just have too much pace not to be able to capitalise. When you're only five metres out from the, from the line, you get busted in the defensive line, it's going to be a try. Shouts have got to forget about that. It's going to happen. It's going to happen against Brisbane. Madison. Madison gets another two. So let's have a look at the scoreboard now. 23-16. 51 gone. The Rabbits over the Broncos. Welcome back. South restarting this episode. We tried to go to Gary earlier. He had a comment to make. He's there now on the sidelines. Yeah, Ray, we've ta you talked about Craig Field a little while ago, certainly having a blinder out there. Terry Hermanson up front, he's just a rock ape. He's, he's having a big one. The guy at the back you mentioned, Duncan McRae, I'm extremely impressed as, a, as another fullback. He's not only cool under pressure and makes the tackles, but he's prepared to take the risk. He throws the ball around, and he, he backs himself in all the way, a real confidence player. And the good thing about Duncan McRae, too, is, is there's no big head about him. He just gets on with his business. Dad, you hope you're good mates with Terry Hermanson. Rock ape's no rat. They're on a roll now, Brisbane. John Plath. Plath. That's the halfway line. Here comes the Rabbits surging in. Kerrit Wall is away, and the little kick quite uh, specifically out, angled for Willie Kahn, but it's too deep. And McRae has got a, a mile of time to call Corcoran in to help him. Kahn has to make the tackle. That's brought him off his wing. McRae backs up. So between McRae and Corcoran, They've been able to put 30 metres on the promotion of the football. Just the game, really, that the Rugby League and the sponsors, Tui's, would have ordered had they been able. The Cinderella story of South Sydney, the David and Goliath battle, and a high-scoring game of Rugby League. Darren Maroon driven back. Good stuff, Glenn Lazarus. Out goes Schifoletti again, always probing and causing problems. Paul Quinn is held 42 metres out on five. Great field. Runs to the defence line, puts the kick in. That's gained him another 10 metres. If it finds touch, it doesn't. Willie Kahn floats with danger, uses Julian O'Neill, and down the sideline goes the youngster. That's how close they are to that sideline. Kevin Walters, Kerrin, I should say. Madison Dummy half. 
There's the 30 meter line they're working on now. They're back inside it with Platt. South, they've got to remain committed. 23 16. I wonder will that drop goal prove to be so valuable, Block? Yeah, it probably will, but it's uh, they're still playing with plenty of enthusiasm. The thing that I like, they're still throwing the ball around. That's what the coaches wanted. Well, so too are Brisbane on this particular raid, and Willie Kahn put away by Tyron Smith. Names are meaning nothing to the young rabbits. 55 gone, 23 16. The red and greens over the Broncos. Duncan McRae, slicing run, good run. Late four and successful, but a penalty. Yes, Kevin Wallace never standing front on there. He was almost to the side, I believe, of McRae. Never standing in front of the, of the, the player who was playing the football. That's a penalty. Don't forget the test cricket tonight. First test will go to that live. Following the football, following nightline. You didn't get the call, Fatty? Still awaiting that phone call, Alan Langer. Looks like he's in a bit of trouble there with a, possibly a cork thigh or something. Ice pack on that. Julian O'Neill has been impressive for the Broncos to meet tonight. He's run freely whenever he's had space. And, uh, he's defended stoutly as well. It's good to have him back on board as far as Brisbane are concerned. The South have, have a host of, of magnificent players tonight. I think the only thing that they could lose in the match tonight is inexperience. Here they are, pushing it around in those young hands. Jason Ryan is on now. You almost mean by, by that, Paul, inexperience when you get into a winning position, you start thinking about it. But, uh, you know, they've probably come here just looking to put up a good performance, and if you get into a winning situation, you do start to think about the result. That's Jason Ryan tackled now. What's the story on Langer, Gary? Ray Cork's thigh, and he himself is not too confident about getting back on the field. It's a real blow for Brisbane, although Johnny Platt's out there, and he's a, a real game breaker for them. I think they're going to miss Alan Langer. Was that tackle late on Craig Field? I don't know. No, Blocker, I think did you have a sight on it? I think he's just playing, mate. He's all right. Is he all right? Halfbacks <laughs> never do that, Ray. He's obviously hurt and he's limping back to the scrum base now. The best of the best of them at that caper was Tommy Bishop. Ball fed by John Platt. Michael Hancock comes off his wing to take the first play. Platt goes straight up the centre. Souths just starting to let a couple of cracks appear. But the trouble with this side, you can put your finger in the dike on one end of the wall and it starts leaking on the other. So all you can do is just keep knocking over whatever looks like a Broncos jumper. Lazarus to the halfway mark, and he's striding out the big fella. The important thing about knocking over those Broncos, Broncos jerseys is to make sure that you stop the football. They can keep the football alive. Somebody will eventually find themselves in space, and that's when they're going to make breaks and score tries. Johns plays it on the halfway. This is their last. Madison gets a grubbing kick away. The scrum will form, it'll take up time, South will have the head and the feed, and this is all very good for their cause. They lead by seven. 23-16, what's the time? How long to go in this quarter? He said, looking vacantly for a timepiece, and there it is. Two minutes. Big diamond vision screen. Juts up like a skyscraper out of the middle of a crowd of probably 16,000 housed over on the hill. Lavington getting cool down here too. Not getting cool for the rabbits though. Seven in front. Paul Quinn, 59 minutes gone, close to the break. You could almost tell us now, Blocker, what they said at three-quarter time, couldn't you? <laughs> Mate, I reckon, they, I reckon they just want to hang in. I mean, this could be something of a lifetime for these blokes. I mean, they just keep playing for that for the last 20 minutes. That's what I reckon. One touch, one touch. Craig getting the call. You can hear Dean Schifoletti saying, fine touch, fine touch. But the youngster with that little bit of exuberance 
He didn't answer the call of the captain. He said, oh, what the hell? Let's put it through the hands and go for another six. They might be made to pay for that, but I don't think so. Seconds remaining to the break. Galea. In this last minute, they don't want to be tackling low, South Sydney. They've got to go high on every occasion. Good hands by the Broncos. Here's trouble. Willie Kahn's away. Craigfield's chasing. Kahn, Kahn. He goes all the way. Well, you can't give them an inch, can you? Here I was thinking that that mistake by Duncan McRae would not come back to haunt him because the clock said 15 seconds to go. And Willie Kahn scores a 50-metre try. And that's the inexperience that Snorkel and myself were talking about. Failing to put the ball down over the touchline with a kick. They dropped it. Look at Kahn. What a magnificent player he is. And the crowd at Leamington Oval, they've gone up. I love it. Well, I just made the statement that you had to go high. You didn't have to go high like that. The 17, Jamie Kelso, was a very ineffective tackle. He had to stop the football. Well, on that occasion, he had to stop the running. Willie Kahn. Eventually they made the tackle, but too, too little, too late. Four tries for the series to Willie Carr. Schiavelletti is blowing up, but I'll bet you he's not talking to Duncan McRae. He, it'd be no good giving young McRae a blast. Madison looks okay, but away, just wide. 23 to 20. The reason I was chuckling, Daddy got the name mixed up from Lavington to Lamington. We'll knock another batch up and we'll be back on the other side of this break. You're kidding, aren't you? 60 minutes gone, 20 minutes remaining. This is the final. $330,000 at the end of this 20 minutes. $200,000 to the winners, $130,000 to the runners-up. They've been in combat now for four weekends in a row. And Souths go into the final quarter, three points in front. They get the penalty, so they'll be kicking for touch from just outside their 20-metre line. Down on the sidelines, Gary Belcher with Chief Executive of the Broncos, I guess a rather worried John Rebo. Thanks, Ray. Yes, John, uh, Wayne Bennett mentioned during the week that he was uh, treating this game as just another trial. Do you think that's still the case? Well, I think from a coaching point of view, Gary, that's the way you've got to go into these games, although it's a great competition to support it too. He's... From a club's point of view, it's very important that we win this, uh, these sort of finals. But, uh, yeah, he can't treat it any other way because the, the season proper starts next week, so he wants to be very settled with his side. Yeah, I'm sure the club would like the cash. Do you think the four-quarter football brings the Broncos back to the field a little bit? Well, I think that uh, the intensity, you know, once you start to get on top of uh, sides, they can have uh, tw a few minutes break after 20 minutes. So we like to play 40-minute halves, but you know, it's the same for both sides, so we've got to adapt to it. It's certainly not an excuse tonight, and Souths are playing very well. Well, yeah, I saw you in the huddle there at three-quarter time. Just how are they going to get out of it and get on top? Well, I think uh, Wayne's concerned about the defence. Just get the defence right. Get the enthusiasm up and uh, oh. make sure we score our first few points. Thanks, John. Oh, gee, did you see that? Hermanson set himself to run over Peter Ryan. He's gone, and, Peter uh, Ryan. Jeez, he hit him, didn't he? Here's the Rabbits, though. They're on the attack. Thanks, John Rebo. They're 18 metres away from the line. Here's a chance right here for South Sydney to almost wrap it up. Jason Bell out wide, in and away, and then a push off and a hand off. McRae handle. Tyron Smith fends one away. Madison and Renault, they bring him down. This crowd, they're on their toes. They can sense a big boil over coming up. Look, it's away from field, through Schifoletti, on to Bell, into the back line, Penner. Penner tries to step inside, takes the ball to ground. There they are, 10 metres from the line. Schifoletti out wide. Field now, drops it onto the right foot. Chance here. No, there's not. Hancock was there. Showing his experience. Five metres out from his own line for Wendell Sapp. Important now that South City don't give away a penalty. They've got to stay 10 metres away in defence. They've got to keep Brisbane down this end of the field. Mark home. They're on the 20 metre line. And they've got a, a player out of their line here to the left. If they come this way, there's a chance as Kerrig Wallace can't keep the ball alive. I think that might be Tyron, Tyron Smith. Tyron Smith, he's leaving the field now. They need to get somebody on. 
It's going to be Paul Quinn. Paul Quinn gets out there in 14 to block up the hole. Gavin Allen, meantime, promotes Madison. He floats it for Khan. We were talking about three tries earlier, weren't we? He's tackled 25 metres out from the line. Scored two already tonight. Walters away to John. John's on and away from Ryan for Sailor. He does the dancing. This is the last tackle. You can see the arm up raised in the middle of the field by McCallum. Then Platt. Now Renoff. Look out. Here they come again. The Broncos have hit the lead. 24-23. And what about the flick pass from Wendell Sailor as Alan Langer applauds and so do nearly 15,000 people here in Albury. They've hit the lead, Brisbane. It's been a hard task for them, but they've stuck to their guns and it's been their attacking brilliance which has finally got them that point in front as Craig Field. I'd say he's down, not just in agony, but in pain from seeing his side scored upon and now falling behind. Last tackle here, Wendell Saylor. We've seen him do this before, beat a couple of defenders. He knows it's the last. There's the flick. John Platt to Steve Renoff. Paul Mellor couldn't turn and chase. Too much speed from the number three. The field, he's beaten all ends up. Well, it's just the sort of side they are, aren't they, Brisbane? Wendell Saylor's done magnificently here to flick this ball back. When he knew he was cornered, the South Sydney defence out wide had come up and in to try and nullify Brisbane's uh, beautiful play, but Renoff, we talked about Khan, Renoff, what a magnificent play he is as well. So one of the big problems there, Paul, as Terry Madison lines up this conversion attempt, the 8 and the 10 for South, Goldspink and Hermanson were out there inside the winger, so there was no speed. Madison's kick coming around, oh, great kick. He's from with, the side. Hit it with draw. A little never... draw on it, you play for it. Like still those five irons. Willie really Khan, he's having an absolute blinder. Every time he gets the ball, there's 40, 50 metres there for him. He's actually been the reason they've got back into this game, hasn't he, Willie really Khan? Apart from scoring a, t a couple of tries, he's been the man that's been able to make the 50 and 60 metres to go from their own danger area into attack and really that's resulted from what Willie Khan was able to do in running those 50 metres. And having said that, let's not lose sight of what Wendell Saylor did. We were reminded of what he did in that try by that replay. Hasn't he come out? Kerry Walters making a lot of metres. He's got it down to the halfway line for the Broncos. They now lead 26-23. Plenty of tries, plenty of points, plenty of excitement here. South led 23-10. So the Broncos have put 16 together without interruption. Here they are again. And that ball went forward. He's real this last pass or more of a fumble than anything to go forward. Kevy gets a nice ball out there from Sailor. I don't know if I did, but he was in good position, McCallum. And Steve Rach talked about South City believing in themselves. This is where they must really, they've got to believe in themselves here. They're not out of this match. They're only a point behind. If they continue to play the football they have all game, they can win the match. Skip oh, three behind, of course, yeah, 26-23. Cray running across the field, and they're not going anywhere. Goldspink has hammered to the ground. 10 metres short of halfway. Donega scored the first try for South. Wilson passes for field and on for Hermanson. He's been like a block of granite. Jason Bell, but you for David Penner. Penner, 20 metres out. Oh, the Broncos were there waiting for him to pass. And who was it? Willie Carr. A uh, tragedy for the Rabbits. Looked like it might have been a try as now Brisbane counter-attack through Sailor. But what a magnificent pass. Look at this pass from Hermanson. He's been South's best forward, no doubt about that, along with Tyron Smith. And Penner was into open space and Khan, great play. He just kept coming. Kerrit Walters now gets through a half a hole. Lazarus is there to support. To the right for Platt. On for Madison, back inside for Johns, and then for Plath. 25-35. Out from their own line. 
About 12 minutes of the match remaining as Gavin Allen storms onto a Kevin Walters pass. And then the number six was there to support him again. Played by Kevin to Kerrod. They go to the blind. Madison puts it on the boot, but that's too heavy. So it'll come back to the 20-meter line for the restart by South. They're fortunate for South that that ball did go dead and they weren't forced to endure another six tackles. They're just starting to look a little bit tired now. A little bit of fatigue starting to set in on the 20-meter line. So they've got a long way to go, but there is plenty of time on the, on the, the clock. And Alan Langer doesn't look as though he will compete anymore in this game. So that's a plus for them as well. Snatching a game out of the, the jaws of defeat is not foreign to South. Just ask St George. Jason Bell. That's good football. Field is out and away, but you've got to stay alert when you're playing alongside Craig Field. And David Penner put it down. So too did Willie Kahn. Be interesting to see which way the feed has gone here. To see Craig Field throwing it. I think it's David Penner, as Ray pointed out, taking his eyes off the ball. It was a bad pass anyway. He wasn't going anywhere. Penner, and this pass goes to ground. So see how soon get the ball back. Bell looking for his runners. Oh, Penner has run into the shoulder of Chris Johns. Good tackle by Johns. He's one of the best defensive centers in the world david penner knows that right now halfway line mestrov plays it a floating pass for field then a bullet like pass for bell out wide for mcgray onwards now for wilson i think that is no it's corcoran there's the 30 meter line here they come again south sydney craig field oh maroon took a shelter from madison Center of the ground, 25 out. They come to the right. McRae holds it back, puts it onto the chest of Mellor. He's earned their respect, Paul Mellor. This is the shoulder. Madison on Maroon. And now to the air off the boot of Duncan McRae. It's a great bomb. Oh, Wendell Saylor. Tremendous effort by the replacement in number 15, Wendell Saylor. Great timing there from Wendell Saylor. Really ended up getting a pretty free catch at the football. He's got good height, and that was an advantage to him. What a difference. As Steve Renoff, you know, he's really got through a little bit. What a difference his performance to Brisbane's last appearance in the two-year challenge final. That was a loss to Illawarra, four points to two from memory. We're one shy of 50 points being scored in this game. Gavin Allen able to step away from the room. Then he tried to go further and Maroon hit him again. Souths have got the ball. 30 metres out from the line. Schifoletti and Field handled before Bell and now Penner. Penner wrestles with Khan. McRae gets it away. Was that knocked on by Peter Ryan? He was knocked down by Ryan with his hand involved in the, in the play there. But South Sydney, every chance they get, looking to spin this ball wide. These Penner and Bell, they look very smart. McRae out there. And they're not without a chance of pulling off a, a win here. Reminded that the, the South the forwards have played well tonight, Blocker. The big blokes up front, goals, Mick Hermanson. Yeah, they certainly have. And what a difference Dean Schifoletti's made by getting out from dummy half. He's sensational player. Here's um, McRae getting a pass off for Wilson. He's cut down by a Gavin Allen tackle. They go for the, the, le the left again. And Jason Bell, who's played a prime role in what's happened out there tonight. He plays it back for his captain. Quinn backs him up. Then fired back for Mestrov. Maroon goes towards the corner. There's a chance, Penner. Penner pulled down. That line is only a couple of metres away. They go for it again. The Broncos make sure they get under the player. David Penner a dummy half. Schifoletti, Field, holds it back. Bell, back for Field. Magnificent pass by Bell. Then away from Quinn, McRae. He's tackled by Lazarus. Played ahead, goes himself, McRae. Flicks it out, Quinn, away, Bell. Craig Field, there's a try. There's a try for the Rabbits. And they're back in front. Oh, unbelievable stuff, last tackle. Brisbane complaining, what about the pass from Jason Bell? McRae 
just last gasp, gasp, and that puts them one point in front. The bench has a chat. Eight minutes to go in this game, and it's a match that has had absolutely everything. He's out on his feet, Craig Field. Don't write this mob off yet. They can come back from here. Plenty to do in this eight minutes. Reflective Alan Langer, he won't be back, we don't think, but have a look at this last tackle. A couple of passes here, Paul, that you just thought were never a chance of being thrown. That was one of them. That was a great pass here by Bell. Too many bodies in motion here, Southie. Look, they keep going forward, and uh, from here, it's still they're looking to score. And that pass there by McCray just flicked it up. And Craig Field, a magnificent try to the Rabbitohs. They haven't given up, and they've got to the lead. They've surged to the front by a point, and Corcoran will try and put this over. Well, this is just sensational stuff. I, I know that it's a high-scoring game, and I suppose some of the purists are saying, oh, heavens above, how can you say that's a great game with a scoreboard that says 27-26? But I can tell you that 14,888 from down here on the border, they couldn't care less about the manual. They are seeing something that they really will remember. The champion side taken on by a bunch of kids that said, give us a chance in a first grade jumper. And that's what South Sydney stands for. A checkbook of pretty close to nothing up against the richest club in the world, I suppose. And they take over their London Crusaders officially next week. A great club, the Broncos. I'm one of their great admirers, but look, this is good stuff. This is a magic moment in rugby league. Jamie Corcoran soaking up time. They're one in front. When they restart, there'll be six to go. He misses. So will the Broncos think about a drop goal? They're not the kind of team that does think of drop goals too often. We've seen on many occasions where they've had the chance to pick up two points, they go for the try. I know this is a different circumstance, they're running out of time, but their mentality is to, is to score four pointers. If they can get down there, I think that's what they'll do. Willie Khan's kickoff is very, very deep. And bringing it back is uh, Jeremy Donegan. Ten metres out from his own line. Wilson, the test, cricket, the test cricket follows Nightline tonight, live from South Africa. Don't forget that. Gary Belcher, I'm just wondering, with Alan Langer off the field, who do we look for for a field goal in the Brisbane lineup? Well, I, I suppose Kevy Walters might have a go there. I know Julian O'Neill has fancied himself before, but he's off the field as well. Um, whether they'll try the field goal or knowing the Broncos, I suppose they'd rather go for the win and, and push the ball around next time they get it. They're going to get the ball first, mate. <laughs> True. We just saw Terry Hermanson make another one of those blockbusting runs. Craig Field gets the kick down. Wendell Saylor came across. David Penner let him run because he was going across and back. Carnes with it. That's Andrew G. Get the impression that the Broncos are missing more than probably we first thought. A bloke by the name of Alan Can. Delia. They're eight short of halfway. Let's keep an eye on the clock for you if you're watching down in Redfern and out in that area. You've got four minutes to keep biting those nails. 27-26, the Red and Greens are in front. Madison's kick, lobbing down near the uprights and beyond and over the dead ball line. That's time consuming again. And uh, South will take their time coming out with it. And again, a cool customer is Duncan McRae, knowing how important it was not to be forced to field that ball. One thing I really like about the South number one is his ability to inject himself into the, the South back line. But there are quite a few fullbacks in the Winfield Cup who really don't know how to come in and where to position themselves. That doesn't apply to McRae. 30 metres out from the south line. Clay is starting to cramp up. 
little mud pack there for a facial for the South Sydney second row of Mastrop. Great run by Doniger, and then he was buckled over. He's all right. Quick ball to the right for Field to give to Bell. Here's a call from a decoy. And now the Broncos. Do they come up with it? No. Touch judge in. 27, 26. Well, what's he seen here, the touch touch? Possibly a player held back. He's found something. He's looking at South Sydney players. This may not be good news for South Sydney with a couple of minutes remaining. Yeah, Shane Wilson is the man being called out, and that's the motion from the referee holding back. They'll get the penalty, Brisbane. They'll find touch inside the half of South Sydney. They're going to have one last crack at them. You wouldn't find a touch judge making a report on an incident like that too many times in a season of rugby league. Karen Walters takes the free kick. Andrew G lumbers up to the 30 metre line. Can South hold out? 78 minutes gone. One minute and 45 seconds and counting. 27 26. Karen Walters for John Plath. Plath put away. A swarm of rabbits go in there. Now they go to the right looking for Madison, who switches it. G handles. Kevin Walters runs with it. Looks for support. Finds Ryan, who in turn gives it to Galea. Galea put down. 19 out from the line. Away from Hancock. Through Walters. Long ball for Platt. Throws the dummy. Then home. Now Kevin Walters. This is Wendell Saylor. Saylor goes for the corner. And put in a touch. That may have won the game for South right there. Oh, great cover defence by the Rabbitohs. A sensational play. It came from nowhere to, to handle Wendell Saylor into touch. Yeah. Saylor streaking down the touch line. Corcoran missed him. But look at the rest of the red and greens come over. Yeah, Jeremy Doniger and Duncan McRae forced the ball out. Put Saylor over the sideline. They'll get the feed now. They won't be looking to do anything silly. It'll be a shortage of passes. Just good hard running, hit the advantage line, stay free football. They can do that, they're home, the Rabbitohs. Craig Field, not happy with one point, busts them and goes up the centre, looking for more. Bob McCarthy, an anxious rabbit on the sideline. They've got it, I think. 79-33, says the clock. And they're 29 out from their own line. And there's the siren. The siren is there. And the Rabbits have won a rugby league competition for the first time in 13 years, in first grade. The Broncos disappointed, but they'll be the first to dip their lid and say well done to this young South Sydney side. The people from down on the border have seen a magnificent clash. One point the difference, 27-26 to the Rabbits. Footy tab should pay a fortune. We'll look at them. Lovely scenes for this old club. Foundation club. The club that has won more premierships in Gildan and Shield and Winfield Cups than any other. And they haven't, they haven't been in the winner's circle since 1981 in any tournament. And these are scenes that right across the eastern suburbs, the Red Ferns, the Dacevilles, the Kingsfords, the Kensington. They'll be absolutely dancing in the aisles down there. Paul Mellor, one of the try scorers. Tremendous scene. The Broncos, they were great too, but it was all South Sydney tonight. 27, 26, we have the presentation of the Challenge Trophy and the, the prize money in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say what a fitting finale to what has been an outstanding Two East Challenge Championship to begin 1994. Absolutely brilliant for South Sydney team and the champion Broncos team so gallant in defeat and August Wealth to what is going to be an outstanding 1994 rugby league season and it's great to see so many people turn up here in Albury. But to the winners go the spoils and it gives me great pleasure to award the two East Draft Man of the Match to the outstanding number seven for the South Sydney team, Craig Field.
mate. Put the twoies down. You can buy plenty with this prize money. And congratulations. Say a few words. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the side I play for, South Sydney, on a great effort, you know. All young blokes battling to stay in first grade every game, you know, and playing against the blokes over here. I mean, there's no better side in the world, you know, going around the present time. Um, it's an honour to play against the players that are there, and uh, to win is just a, it's a dream come true. Um, to our coaching staff, I'd like to thank them very much for the efforts they've done this year. Um, They've done a great job with the club and uh, there's more to come for the boys. Thanks very much. Jim, I'll just pick you up here for a moment. It's been a long time coming for South Sydney, something like 13 years since they've last won a final. But they've done it in style tonight and they've been led remarkably well by a player I think is going to prove one of the buys of the season. Could you please welcome the whole South Sydney side up, led by Dean Skifalitti. Some magic moments there for the boys from Redfern. South Sydney defeating Brisbane in the Tui's Challenge. 27-26. Don't forget the Test Cricket comes to you immediately following Nightline. But on behalf of Peter and Paul and the entire crew, Blocker and Gary, we say good night from Albury. And of course our next assignment on Rugby League is the start of the 1994 Winfield Cup. Good night everyone. <laughs>